Hi, ever wonder what it's like to work another profession or live in the underworld? Listen to Unsuspecting Riders give a 10 to 15 minute personal masterclass as I spontaneously interview them as they enter my taxi. I'm your host, Simon Rushton, and this is Taxi Chronicles. Morning, morning, morning. Yes, another rider, another story. Today we have Will with us. He's an entrepreneur and established businessman of 15 years and he's going to share his knowledge and experience with us. Nice to have you here, Will. Thank you very much. I actually don't know your name. Simon. <laughs> <laughs> don't thank worry, you. he won't be the last, if not the first. <laughs> that, thank you, Simon. Very nice to so, meet you. So tell us, Will, what industry are you in and what made you want to get into that? So I'm in the, what's broadly called the creative industries, but effect, effectively I sketch ideas for a living and then cleverer people than me turn those ideas into really cool, tangible things that people can use. Okay. I have to note, Will always plays himself down. He's a bit like Keanu Reeves. <laughs> <laughs> really can't take a, a compliment in that respect. But tell us, Will, what kind of person were you when you were at school? That's a really good question. I'm like a massive nerd, um, and still am a bit. I quite, I quite, I'm, I'm, I've always been interested in stuff that I'm always trying to find a new thing to be interested in. Um, so I was very nerdy as a kid. I had, I had two older sisters. My oldest sister was, you know, the beautiful girl at school. Uh-huh. So in some ways, I was protected. Um, no one picked on me really because everyone fancied my sister. Um, okay. But I was just, I was just like literally, you know, just like one of two hundred other kids that were just like me. It was no, nothing particularly interesting. Mm-hmm. Like literally, really bad average. But well, you say you were a nerd, but I, if you saw Will now, he's very trendy. He's going to work in his Havana Brazilian Rio flip flops that I, <laughs> I've got a pair at home and his ripped jeans and it look, looks very trendy. You'd be wearing these if, if you were able to legally drive in flip flops. I mean everyone should be wearing flip flops. <laughs> I, I usually drive with no flip flop, with no shoes on because don't, it's easier on my calf muscles. Don't you think, don't you think that people would just be happier if they thought more about their footwear? Like you think about this, like I, I see, I, we're heading into the city, mm-hmm. and obviously if I was seeing clients today, well I am seeing a client, but if I was seeing a client that I was really worried about, I'd be wearing shoes, which are uncomfortable and hot, and I see people clipping around the city in uncomfortable footwear, mm-hmm. but you, that's got to take its toll. <laughs> yeah, you could get, you could wear footwear that's more comfortable now, nowadays. What, like trainers? Well, not even trainers, it's like... You've got those shoes that look a bit corporate, but they're soft soles, soft leather. Uh, yeah, but it, like not not in my world, but for most of my clients, like in the finance industry, like you're not even allowed to wear really good brown shoes. Like that whole, you know, no brown in town shoes thing. That yeah. there's like there 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 are rules about shoes, uh-huh. and I'm just checking to see if you're wearing a massive watch. No. Yeah. I so, don't need a watch. No, nor do I. I've got a phone. I have phones. <laughs> I have three phones. Yeah, and there's one in the dash here, but yeah. <laughs> so you you wear black shoes, mm. you wear a big ass watch, and a corporate uncomfortable and, suit. Exactly. And and, dark coats. Yeah, and it's it's done up tight around your neck, and you're in an air conditioned space, and you're working really long hours. Mm-hmm. You're probably not that happy with what you're doing with your life because you're probably ripping poor people off. And if you just had comfortable shoes doing that, life would be better. Okay. So I always wear flip flops when I can. Okay, that's good. It's also healthier, healthier, and they say the the closer you are to the earth, the more in touch you are. To yeah, the, to that kind of thing. Right? Another client of mine stands in his back garden in the grass every morning for yeah, ten minutes meditation. with a coffee just to connect, yeah. which I find really interesting. Well, it's not very easy for me living in central London, but when I was on the ships, there was an Indian guy every morning. He used to stand outside for five minutes, just like in a just stand on the on the on the deck facing the sun with his hands like spread like he does his eyes shut it's like a meditation letting nature stream through him or something like that I said, very cool that? and he just said no that's what he does it's his morning nemesis with the world with the atmosphere with everything so, okay. very i nice never tried it <clears throat> no no 
No, 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 have I. I but, but I think any time you take a bit of time to reflect and think about stuff is 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 beneficial. Well, this isn't brilliant for your for content for your listeners, but I need to jump out of the top on the left and pray. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, Last quick question. Yes, yes, yes. What have you learned that you wish you knew when you started? In business, yeah. uh, everything is people. They're both the best and the hardest, the the worst and the brilliant. The both they are they are every. If you don't have good people, you can't do anything. Mm-hmm. So always be very careful with the people that you meet and the people that you hire. Okay, thanks a lot. Where can people find you if they want to? involve themselves in your business they can't really it's all recommendations okay i like that i like that (laughs) but yeah like we we try not to because what happens is you just get you get an awful lot of phone calls from from not the right people and it's not their fault but then you spend an awful lot of time trying to explain that unless you're a massive law firm a huge insurance company or some massive business you you're not okay we're all we're all recommended thanks a lot and we wish you you well likewise We hope you liked that interview. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to get the latest daily episode. Ever considered investing in a continent with the fastest growing economy and population on Earth? The same continent that holds 30% of the world's known natural resources? Then listen to our sister podcast, Africa Investor Stories, where you will hear real investors with real stories from around the world Share the experience of investing in Africa. We post Monday and Thursday at 10am.